Alrighty, guys, so it took me a while. Probably close to 30 minutes, but yes. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. So, you guys probably already guessed it. Yes, I was thinking of getting this little Pokemon right here because, yeah, we got stuff ahead and we kind of need it. Yeah, we really, really, really need Heracross right here. So, anywho, in our last episode, we went straight to the Alex Forest and went all the way to Goldenrod, learned Her uh, Headbutt, and now. We're taking advantage of this whole thing. We're back in Azalea Town, and Heracross right here is a very, very interesting Pokemon. It is both a bug and fighting type Pokemon. A very loved Pokemon by all. And like I said before, yes, I will be changing up my team every so often, so don't be too alarmed. Now, off screen, I did get myself four friend balls because, well, yes, I asked uh, good old Chuck, or yeah, is that his name? Good old Chuck? Or, I don't know, I remember, I forgot his name. Yeah, to make me some Pokeballs and all that stuff, but we got two Net Balls, the only ones that we can afford, and these are the ones that work best against any kind of uh, bug type Pokemon. And as you guys can see, yes, throwing at that peace sign. Alrighty, okay. So let's see what we got right here with Heracross. A very, very awesome Pokemon, yes, that's what we got. So here is Heracross, a single horn Pokemon, bug and fighting type Pokemon. This powerful Pokemon thrusts its prized horn under its enemies' bellies and then lifts them and throws them, uh, throws them and all that stuff. So, yes, we already have a nickname for this Pokemon. We used them in our last Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough, but right here, yes, we're going to be naming them again by the nickname that it was uh, given. Everybody, say hello to her Hercules, because, yes, we have missed you for quite some time. So... I'm going to go off screen and I'm going to train this Pokemon up just a little bit just to be on par with uh, all our other Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> we did a lot. Yes, we did. Anywho, in our. Uh, I don't how, how, how should I explain it, guys? How should I explain this? So, I was training my Heracross. And I decided that, you know what, what's a good, uh, what's a good thing? Um, uh, you know what's a good thing? Maybe we should leave two Pokemon in daycare and, you know, have them, uh, level up as I am walking and training this Pokemon. And I did put my Wooper and my Flaffy, Flaffy, I should say, in the Pokemon, uh, daycare. And, well, both these Pokemon got it on and we got a friggin' egg. Oh my god. Look at that, we got an egg from the daycare and this happens to be both Fluffle and Lucky's kid so I should have known that these two Pokemon would have gotten it on but yes off screen look at this got myself Hercules and uh, well not off skin off screen but I did train my Pokemon and along the way it did learn three moves one of them which I did take out which was what was it called a fury attack and then uh, aerial ace as you guys can see it does have the adamant nature. This will definitely boost up its physical attack, as you guys can already tell. Yes, it does have a very, very high physical attack. So yes, physical attacks is going to be the big thing. Its ability is Swarm. Powers up bug type moves in a pinch. Meaning, I do believe, I, I do have a TM that is purely bug type. So let's go right ahead and see what we can get. Look at this. We got U-Turn. And this little sucker right here is a physical attack. So, yes, we're going to give this to... Oh, wow. How are... Like, seriously? Hercules can't learn it? Holy crud baskets. Okay. Never mind. One can only dream, right? Anywho, so here we are in Goldenrod City. And, well, Goldenrod City it is home to a bunch of stuff, like the department store. Unfortunately, we can't do anything right now with the department store because, well... It caused us a pretty penny to actually get uh, both uh, Flaffy and uh, and Lucky out. As you guys can see, I know there's a bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, that's his fault right there. And what he's looking for is the bike shop down here, which, uh, well, this place right here has moved from Cerulean all the way to Golden Run. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. He's going to be like, huh, I opened up a branch here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Sure, let's go right ahead and get that. Give me your name and phone number and I will loan you a bicycle. And there you go. We got ourselves a bicycle and well, if we use the speed button, yes, we will be able to advertise this real, real quickly. And well, what's going to happen right now is, let's 
go right ahead into the key items, and this, we're going to be registering it as one of our key items. And that way, we can actually, bam, right around, look at that. And I didn't mean to go in there, but... Anywho, Goldenrod City. Yes. We need to earn some monies, guys, because, well... Let's go straight right here. Look how much money I have. Four dollars! To my god dang name, and that's because I was... Out here buying stuff and breeding Pokemon and all that crud. So, let's go right ahead and do just that. As you guys probably already know, this is the Name Raider's house, and this is the Underground Path. And, well, you come in here, you'll see a Pika Blue or Meryl. And Lyra's gonna be like, Hi, Draven! You're just in time! When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop. That's where your Pokemon will be uh, can be put on accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here is a fashion case. Did you uh, did you say you want it? I knew it. This is a present from me to you. And well, look at that. We got ourselves a fashion case, which we probably won't be using. And well, after that, that will be that. And well, let's go straight down here because there are going to be some trainers that you can actually battle. And well, let's go right ahead. And continue our little our little adventure by getting some monies because yes we we kind of used a lot of it. So here's one individual. He's gonna be like, I think I have some rare Pokemon with, or I or I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, taking on Pokemaniac Donald. And yes, he's <laughs> he is you know cosplaying. And as you guys can see, we are taking on a Drowsy right here, and we've been put to sleep. So let's go straight to Flood Volt. And, well, look at that. We're going to put this guy, paralyze him, and then, bam, just like that, we get some money. Now we got more than $4. And this guy right here is going to be looking at us. He's going to be like, do you consider a Pokemon or the Pokemon types in battle? If you know about the different types of Pokemon, you'll do better in battle. Which, I do consider Pokemon typings. So, here we go, taking on Super Nerd Tiru, and he's going to be coming out with his Magnemite. And I completely forgot that, yes, we are asleep, but we wake up and we're going to kick some butt, take some names, yes. And, well, look at this. Flame wheel for the win. Voltorb's coming out. So let's go to Lucky. And Lucky right here. Mudshot. Just like that. Mudshot again. And there we go. We have won. So, yes. As you guys can see, this is the, well, this is right here, the, mem the Memorial Photo Studio, where you uh, are no ordinary, or we are no ordinary studio. You can wear Team Rocket outfit to take a picture. Would you like to try it? Sure, let's go right ahead and take a picture in the Team Rocket uniform. Don't know why that is, and, well, here's one of our very first pictures. As you guys can see, this is our current team in a Team Rocket uniform. He's like, good job! You can check uh, the picture using the PC, which is nice. So, let's continue on right here. This individual is a uh, part of the Pokemon Salon. I'm the younger and less expensive of the two haircut brothers. I'll spruce your Pokemon for just 300. And, well, if you come to this guy and you have, an, if you have a Pokemon that can evolve through happiness, I would suggest coming right here because it will actually boost up its happiness. One of these Pokemon happens to be Togepri. So let's go right ahead and give that. And just like that, Togepri is now just a little happier. And if you talk to this individual, hello dear. I sell unexpected herbal medicine. They're good, just but a trifle bitter. Your Pokemon may not like them. <laughs> So, if you guys can see right here, we got a Heal Powder, Energy Powder, Energy Root, and Revival Herb. Each one of these can actually heal up your Pokemon. They work as specific uh, specific heal item replacements. The only problem is that if you, if you heal up your Pokemon with these kinds of items, their happiness is going to go down. For example, if you got yourself a Golbat or any of the evolutions that evolve through happiness and all that stuff, and you use, them on, use these items on them, bam, it's not going to work. So... We're not going to do that because we kind of need happiness. So, let's go right ahead and start battling. My Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. Okay, alrighty. So, here we go. Taking on another Pokemaniac. His name is Isaac. Coming out with a lick of tongue. And we're going to go with Cinder right here. So, let's go straight for a Flame Wheel. And just like that, we get to level 23. Easy peasy. And we got another individual right here, so let's see what we got. Grimer, 
Flame Wheel for the win, and he's coming out with another Grimer, so let's go right ahead and use Hercules, as you guys can see, did level him up to level 15, and this Pokemon is going to be strong as can be in all that, and well, if you come right here, this is uh, no entry beyond this point, which unfortunately we can't do anything about, so let's get the heck out of here, and well, we are in Goldenrod yet again. Now, if you talk to this individual, he's going to be like, Whew, this is a big, one big town. I don't know where anything is. That is true. Now, if you come in here and talk to this individual, it's like, oh, you collect Pokemon. My son Bill is an expert. He just call, he just got called uh, to the Pokemon Center in Necrotex City. And if you talk to her, she's going to be like, my big brother Bill made the Pokemon storage system. Now, I thought I was going to get a phone number right there. I always get a phone number. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. What else is there? Oh yeah, the game corner. Now, this is a... This right here is kind of a letdown, because this doesn't look like much at all. Like, they literally stripped this down to the bone, and, well, yeah. Uh -huh, you must be uh, here to play coin game. Come here, and I'll give you a coin case. <laughs> so, I guess we're going to get a coin case from him. This is his name. My heart pounds with excitement when people enjoy the coin game. In fact, that's what I live for. You look like quite the challenger. Why don't you play the coin game? You can have a pri fabulous prize if you manage to collect a lot of coins. Sure, let's go right ahead and play it. Okay, so here we get a coin case from Mr. Coin. And he's going to be like, show me how you play and my heart will pound with excitement. Okay, so let's see. Huh? Why don't you sit across from me and show me how you play? Okay, right here. Okay, so show me how you play with my heart's excitement. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and, and get the game info. So, how do we play? So, Voltor Flip is a game in which you flip over cards to find the numbers hidden beneath them. The cards are hiding the numbers uh, one, th 1 through 3 and the Voltorb as well. The first number you flip over will give you as many coins. From then on, the next number you will find or you find will multiply in the amount of coins you collected by the number. If it's 2, your total will be multiplied by 2 times. If it's 3, it's multiplied by 3 times. But if you flip over a Voltorb, it's game over. Then that happens, you'll lose all the coins you've collected in the current game. If you select quit, you'll withdraw with the game. If you get the difficult spot, or if you get to a difficult spot, you might want to end the, uh, the game early. Once you've found all three hidden 2-3 uh, cards, you've cleared the game. Once you've flipped over all these cards, then you'll advance to the next level. As you move up the levels, you will be able to receive more coins. Do your best. Yeah. So, let's see. Return. Let's go ahead and play, and uh, let's see if I got this all right. So we got one, and there's another one. Okay, and there's three. Okay, so <laughs> look at that. We're we're actually winning. And okay, so looks like to me that we're actually doing a good job right here. But I kind of feel as though that like there we go. So we're gonna quit like this. So if this is the game, then I, I don't know what to what to say. But we received 12 coins right there. We're gonna do that, and well, there's 12 coins. And it looks like to me that I've actually done a very good job of selecting. This is like the first time ever. And yeah, not gonna do that. Anywho, it kind of it's kind of sad to me. It really is that they, you know, they took they took out the majority of the whole coin game and all that stuff, or you know. All the coin games in the in Goldenrod because of the gambling issue and all that stuff. Yeah. Really don't dig that. And, well, let's see. If you come in here, there is this guy, which our mom actually gave, uh, delivered a, a, you know, she delivered uh, items to. And, well, that's pretty much it. Let's see if he actually has more. And no further packages. Okay, so that's pretty much it. But, of course, it, this is the Goldenrod... Uh, the Goldenrod department store, which you will be able to find some uh, interesting items. And let's see, of course, we don't got the money for them just yet, but eventually, once we do, then you know, we're gonna be able to, you know, able to do a lot more with this stuff. Now, I do believe there's an individual right here that will trade you a Pokemon, and that's what I call a professional. Let's go right here, and if you talk to this individual. See what we got. We got the X, uh, the X items right here. And what if we go right here? Talk to this guy. 
Really impatient. X speed. Okay, so it, <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to use X speed and all that crud, but that's eh, kind of not my thing right there. This is the vitamin store right here, if you guys are wondering. And yes, okay. So, of course, if you use the vitamins, it will actually help your Pokemon's EVs, IVs, and all that stuff. And well, let's see. You can't uh, rename your Pokemon in a trade. The name, or the name is a reflection of the original trainer's feelings for him. Huh. And well, let's see. If you talk to this individual, this is the TM place, which uh, this person will actually sell you TM70, which is Flash. This one is a restraint attack that prevents the foe from fainting. The uh, target is left with one HP. So this is a what, false swipe, wondrous wall that lights up. Uh, it surpasses or suppresses uh, damage from special attacks for five turns. That's light screen. This is a uh, light screen and white barrier. And then this one right here, the user draws up a power of the berry. Oh, okay. And then okay, so. Looks like to me those are the strategic, the strategic attacks. Now this one right here, yeah, she she loves our Pokemon, so we get ourselves a TM27. TM27, of course, is uh, is a return. That right there is a uh, dependent on the Pokemon that you have, and I completely forgot about this. There's another page to this TMs. So this is TM22. This is what you might call it, uh, sunny side or solar beam, and then TM52. Use your attacks in full power. It may lower the foe's special defense stats. TM25. This is thunder, fire blast, and then what else? This is oh blizzard, and what you might call it. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> that is hyper beam. Of course, they're going to be a lot more expensive than the rest of the the items right here. And this lady right here tells us that on every Sunday there's going to be a person selling the TMs uh, around this area. And right now it is currently Sunday as I'm recording this. And this guy right here will be trading you a, 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 a Macho for a Drowsy. Unfortunately, I completely forgot about that Pokemon. So we will be back to this guy after, well, before this episode ends. And, well, let's see. Where is that lady that sells TMs? Talk to this person. Yeah, I don't have the radio right now. And, well, let's see. This is new. Okay. Uh, the vending machines. Yes. What do we have right here? Who is the lady? Sunday's prizes will be number one, TMO2. Number two, luxury ball. Number three, a berry. Huh. Okay. So I'm assuming it's this lady right here. And you must try the department store. Welcome to the daily drawing order. for Try it for 300. We have the wonderful prizes. Sure, let's go ahead and put 300 on there. And... We got the prize number two, and this one is a luxury ball, which, well, if you ask me, I would have preferred I would have preferred having a TMO2, and well, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, grab that drowsy, and trade it to that individual. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, and well, we're gonna be trading this guy, our drowsy, for a Machop. Now this is a very quick way if you guys want to actually have a fighting type Pokemon with you before the third gym battle. As you guys, may, as many of you guys already know, third gym battle is uh, quite infamous for one specific Pokemon, and that happens to be Miltank. When I when I first started playing Pokemon Gold and Silver and then Crystal, you guys already know that going up a bit against a Mill Tank, it might not look as much, but that rollout attack really does some damage right there. It wasn't until like you know way later on that you kind of notice why it was so infamous, and that was because of the whole rollout and the, its ability. That includes the Fury Cutter when it came to Scyther in Generation Two. That right there was something, and well, as you guys can see, we got ourselves Muscle from Jose. And well, let's see, let's see, let's see. So yay, I got myself a Drowsy, thanks. So looking up at this traded Pokemon, Muscle is gonna equal the same amount of, uh, well, it's gonna equal the same amount of a level, or the same level as your Pokemon that you traded, but as you guys can see right here, this Pokemon has the Macho Brace, which actually, it actually gives up speed for a lot of IV EV training and all that stuff. As you guys can see, it loves his power. It does have some fighting type moves that you can actually use real quickly. It does have the ability Guts, which boosts its, uh, up, uh, boosts its attack if there is any status problem. There might be a chance that I might be using this Pokemon if Heracross doesn't, uh, if Heracross doesn't uh, come across any kind of fighting type moves later on. So let's go right ahead. 
we're gonna go outside and we're gonna be taking care of the rest of the stuff here in Goldenrod City. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back and well, I had to I had to try my hand on that and on that raffle again right here on the del uh this uh, try it again. Okay, so we're back, guys, and well. <sighs> Off screen, I kind of did a little something, and that was I tried my hand on that raffle again. I thought you could only use it one time, but it turns out that the prize number one happens to be the hardest one to get, and it took damn near all my money, but we managed to get it, guys. TM02, which is Dragon Claw. This is a very, very powerful dragon type move that, yes, will be used uh, later on. Unfortunately, none of my Pokemon on my team knows how to use it, so yeah. Big, big whoop right here. So the next place to visit is, well, not this one, the Kanto or the Johto, Ma Johto Kanto Magnet Train line, the Goldenrod City Station. We can't use it just yet because unfortunately, well, yeah, there's a blank out over in Kanto. We got to get rid of that. And if you come right here, they built a new radio station to replace the old creaky one. This is the radio station and, well, I believe there's an item right here somewhere. Now, they've expanded into this area right here. I don't know what this one is. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and talk to this one. It's a global terminal, an amazing, completely global terminal. Huh. That is the place where you can actually trade or you can actually turn on your internet and all that stuff. We won't be going there. And, well, I thought that we had an item right here, but if you guys can see this. So this is the ra radio tower. What do you want, you past scram? Yeah, he does not like us right now. So... I'm gonna go right here, and if you talk to this lady, uh, the radio tower, if, let's see, this right here is the laundry corner. I'm Felicity, your attendant today. If you draw numbers that matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, you could win fabulous gifts. And right now, I think we have like three different types of numbers. And it looks like to me, we didn't get a match, but obviously the prizes are pretty big right there. Now, if you guys can tell, this is Whitney, the gym leader. She's like, hi, my name is Whitney. I heard the quiz to win the radio card is so I came here to get one, but the quiz is so hard. Hmm, okay, let's see what this quiz is all about. So we have a special quiz campaign. Answer five questions correctly in, in a row and uh, to win a radio card. When you load it into your Poke Gear, you will be able to listen to the radio anytime and anywhere. Would you like to try the quiz? Sure, let's go right ahead and well, can you check your town map with your Poke Gear? Yes, we can. Okay, so the second question is, Nidorina can only be a female. That is true. Okay, third question. Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as his ingredients. I believe that's a no. I don't know why, but <laughs> that's a big no. You are correct. The fourth question, it's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. True. And, well, we got one more question to go. Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he with Mar Marie? I don't think so. And that is true. And look at that. We got ourselves a radio card. Don't know how hard that was, but... Whitney sure, <laughs> Whitney sure doesn't like it. And she's like, wow, you did it. I thought uh, I thought the answer to the third question was Shirley Apricots. Oops. It's time to go back to the gym. Well, it is time. It is big time. So, looks like we got the Pokemon... Uh, the Pokemon radio card right there and well that right there completes our little adventure right here in Goldenrod in the next episode guys we're gonna be going up north we're gonna be battling we're gonna be exploring some few new stuff and uh, grabbing some new items and all that stuff so thank you guys again for watching I will see you guys in the next episode as we complete our adventure up north to get ready for yeah, Whitney <laughs> the uh, Goldenrod City gym leader see you guys